What is up guys? I just wanted to make a quick video uh, regarding the aftermarket cruise control systems that you may sometimes find on older gen and Hondas. This is a 91 CRX and uh, I actually just failed smog because um, the smog tech told me that the little vacuum hose right here um, that uh, connects the throttle body to I believe the engine's vacuum um, that was being split off by this little T intersection to a vacuum hose leading to um, a thing right here which was the um, vacuum reservoir I believe uh, I can show you guys just so we're clear but yeah this black thing uh, is a vacuum reservoir that was let me just unlock that in the uh, engine bay previously and I'm just going through and taking out the whole cruise control system because it doesn't even work and it made me feel smog so even more reason to just take it all out um, but yeah thought I'd show how it's working so um, anyways basically reservoir was right there um, as you can see uh, whoever installed this used self-tapping screws and just drilled right into the firewall um, as well as an additional spot right here to hold this other unit um, and so the reservoir uh, also had a hose leading into this thing and um, this is what uh, is powered and um, so there's like these electrical connections that need to go into the wiring harness so previous or whoever installed this did a really good job of um, basically <laughs> taping off these wires and threading it through the firewall into the cabin um, and uh, the other part besides the electrics and the vacuum is this uh, steel braided cable right here. And sometimes you'll see these things, I'm not sure what they're called, but people will bolt them here, um, basically wherever they can find a spot. Um, but yeah, this is not genuine Honda, so it's kind of like anything goes. Um, but yeah, so this thing was here and then I, had a, I was wondering what is this thing right here? And this is uh, cable housing for a wire that goes back into the engine bay and I don't know how well we can see but basically uh, the this is that cable housing and it leads all the way up into there and then you will see how on the throttle cable I'm sorry on the throttle there's that copper wire right there and so the, what the uh, cruise control system is doing is it basically it pulls on your throttle um, pedal depending on the electronics, which is what you've told the car you want the speed to be, as well as what the current vacuum is. So it goes into this little electrical control module right here, which is uh, unbranded, but actually, well, you guys can see what it says. <laughs> specific cruise control systems incorporated um, this thing is not working anyways um, yeah this looks like a pretty uh, this was a third-party uh, cruise control unit from probably the 90s because um, someone really wanted to give this car cruise control um, but yeah so basically it goes into this unit this unit will uh, do some kind of feedback and uh, there's just a lot of stuff going on in here. And then in terms of how do you dictate which speed you want, also th these are the wires that I'm gonna cut out because they're not even part of the factory wiring harness and I don't need them because it's just making me feel smog. Anyways, um, but yeah, the other part of this cruise control system is the uh, this one used a little indicator stock that uh, looked like this and these wires are what led back into this unit here um, and it's what allows the car to basically maintain a given speed so very very high tech for the 90s or early 2000s but unfortunately in the year of 2020 it's just making me feel smog so um, yeah getting this thing to past smog, taking out a lot of the stuff that isn't even original, and uh, trying to restore this thing back to its former glory. So, yeah, and making it past smog so I can actually drive it on public roads. 
But yeah, just wanted to give this little overview. This is what it looks like. Um, and I hope this helps anyone who might be interested in learning more about the, how early cruise control systems work in these cars. Um, taking apart this dash is very delicate work and I'm just kind of scared also about doing it just because all this plastic is so brittle and I don't want to break anything. Um, but yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, I've seen worse wiring jobs, but yeah, we're getting this thing out. And I'm hoping this isn't a, just a connector I can take off. Yeah. All right. Thanks at all. And I'll talk to you all next time.